When you're using one point perspective, you don't always have to put the vanishing point right in the middle. You can move it over to the side. I'm going to show you how to do a stair stab from one point perspective. And so I've started out by just drawing the steps from the side, which is easy to do just by using a ruler. And now I'm going to start lining up the corners with a vanishing point, starting with the bottom. So there's the vanishing point, here's the bottom corner. And then again, I'll just do the dotted line like that. Okay. Now, to the next corner, you just go from one corner to the next and you line each one up with the vanishing point. Draw your solid line back about how long you think you want the stair steps to be and then finish it off with like a dotted line. So now this corner has to be lined up too. This corner and a vanishing point and line it up. Draw your lines. This corner and the vanishing point again. Okay. And here's another corner and a vanishing point. This corner, vanishing point. And this corner and the vanishing point. And then the top corner and the vanishing point. Now, the cutoff lines have to be parallel with the lines that are in that shape. And so this one has to be vertical. And this one has to be horizontal and parallel to this one. And you want to make them so that they intersect the line before it. And this one has to be vertical again. This one has to be horizontal again. And this one has to be vertical again, and then horizontal. So there are stair steps in one point perspective. Now we can even um, add to the picture. Let's uh, put the stair steps as being part of the front of the building. Okay, so I'm going to um, line up this corner with the vanishing point and just draw the corner down this way. And we'll also just draw up this way too. So this can be like the side that's on the other side of the stair steps. And now we'll draw the side of the door that is closest and draw that as a vertical line. And then draw a line from here to the vanishing point only remember it's only solid for as long as you expect to keep it as part of the image and then it's dotted and then this line is parallel to this line so now we have a basic door that the stair steps lead up to Okay, I could even continue the picture by drawing um, a window on this side of the door and drawing it in perspective. Now remember, I am going to draw the side of the window that's closest to me. And I'm going to make it as tall as I want the window to be. Okay. I tried to make it parallel to the side of the uh, paper, but it was hard to see it because of the way the ruler was. And then I'll line up the top of the line with the vanishing point. And the bottom of the line with the vanishing point. And then make the cutoff line parallel to this line here.
In fact, with perspective, you can carry things farther yet. For example, you can add an added dimension here and make it even more three-dimensional by making the window three-dimensional. This is a line that's parallel to the top and bottom of the paper coming in from the corner. And what I would do is line it up from the vanishing point to the end of that line and then just draw the line up like that. And then let's see if um, I'll draw a line from this corner in and make it parallel with the top and bottom of the paper. This one's going to be a little harder to see because it's closer to eye level. And the thickness of the pencil kind of gets in the way. Okay, then I join these two lines and make it parallel to this line here. And see, it's starting to look like it's three-dimensional, like you can actually look inside it and go inside it. And this one's a little bit uh, touchy here, but I could also make a line from here to here, and then you get a better idea of, like, this is the inside of the bottom of the window. I could do the same thing with the door. Okay, coming in from the corner, a line that's parallel to the top and bottom of the paper. Coming in from this corner, a line that's parallel to the top and bottom of the paper too. Then line the end of this line up with a vanishing point. So it comes straight up and then like that. And the same with this line down here. See this is lined up with that. So we bring it down like this. And then connect these two. Like that. 